Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're back out in Germany following Stuart Wilson as Marwan, Gecko's finest, heads out for another row book. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. So during the second day, we gave uh, all the journalists the opportunity to shoot here in the in the shooting ranges. So that means we had a 100 meter stage. On the 100 meter stage, we showed the journalists how they uh, could give um, or test an optic in terms of the mechanics. Is the mechanic working or is it not working? So we did that with the square, so to side in in the middle, then 10 centimeters up, or 10 clicks up, sorry, 10 uh, clicks up, 10 to the right, 10 down and 10 to the left. So you move the windage in both directions, also the bullet drop in both directions. And at the end, if, if you always have 10 clicks, in our case, or 10 centimeters, so if you have a square and the last shot, so the fifth one, is also in the same uh, square, in the same place like the first one, then the mechanic is working. On the second stage, that is was a shooting cinema, so we demonstrate the 1 to 6 by 24 illuminated and the 1 to 8 by 24 illuminated. And people could, or the girls could uh, just you know, shoot on moving animals, different scenes, easy ones, really hard ones, have a little bit of fun, but also to get an impression how important it is to use a driven hunt optic when you're on a driven hunt. And what's the difference between a driven hunt optic and an optic that is made, for example, like the 2.5 to 15 by 56 illuminated for high seating. The last stage, that's an indoor parkour, and not with a shotgun, it's with a, 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 a center fire. So that means you have different um, targets, you know, popper targets, moving targets, everything in your hand. On the one side, it's a good training to get different targets. On the other side, you can really stress the, the, the guy who's standing there with shooting, you have a chasing, uh, chasing uh, Tusker. So it's shooting under pressure and to show the big advantage of um, an optic that is made for driven hunting with different distances. Yeah, on the second hunt, we changed our high seat. Yeah. Completely different shape of landscape. Okay, and dog. Okay, so, so what is that? It's not actually too much fun. So, Marwan has already secured one book for us on camera, and today we're back out for a second on the same German estate. PH Stefan leads us into our chosen high seat, and without further ado, Marwan makes a short walk in with cameraman in tow. We're still in the height of the rut and expecting to see a lot of activity, and we're not about to be disappointed. We saw, and that was really, really funny, there came out a rodo, and behind that rodo there was something smaller. The first impression was, look, they did, it was 600 meters, but oh, cool, a doe and a kid, it's fine. And they were grassing there and moving, and suddenly the, the, the kid started to chase the doe. And that was really interesting because that was a real, real, real old robot, a real old one. There was just half of the, of the, of the body of the female. Um, unfortunately, we not got a real chance to get it, so they were standing on 350 meters, wind was blowing, so we decided not to shoot. A spy around with a gecko optics gives us a clear picture of what's going on, but there's none of our chosen quarry in sight. 
as the afternoon wears on, watching a pair of fallow deer keeps us occupied. An hour later, things start to liven up again. So the rain stopped and we could be in so in the next couple of minutes. It really could getting really exciting. On the top side, on the other side, it's around about 560 meters far away, we saw a buck in a doe. Several minutes ago, the buck was chasing the doe, and then it starts to rain, so they stopped. But I think the next couple of minutes, I'm excited. But we'll see. The buck responds to the call but won't stop to offer a shot. Instead, it heads into the woods behind us. This is still within our safe shooting arc, so as quietly as possible, Marwan turns around in anticipation of a shot behind and continues trying to coax the buck in. It appears to be the old buck we saw earlier, and definitely a shooter, but at the critical moment it spooks and starts to run. The shot will still be on if Marwan can stop it in its tracks with a well-timed squeak. Clearly hit hard, the buck runs on in what looks like an adrenaline fueled death dash. It's quickly out of camera shot, but Marwan watches it all the way. Good little buck. Yeah, I think so. It was exciting. It was a good day. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm fine with that. We head down to retrieve the buck with light fading fast. With the forest canopy blocking out the light, it's too dark to film without IR, but the search continues with visible light. In a few minutes, Stefan is on the scene too, and the book is soon found. By torchlight, we can attend to the formalities and see the book off to the larder. Das wollen Sie mir erzählen, Sie waren bei dem Veterinär und Wisse und 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 hatten eine richtige Krankheit. Ich glaube, Andreas brauchen die debattieren sein. Really old one. Yeah. Good one. Six, six plus so can that be. Let's see. 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 Let's A perfect shot place, man. Look here. Yeah. It's an old one. Happy with so that. So six years plus. Yeah, that's good. Especially for that, um, that circumstances that the decision between 
shoot or not shoot wrong or right was half a second. Yeah. Ich soll dir fast mal kommen, wo ich mal Leo mitnehmen du. Aber danke. Ohne Hund hättest du dir hier. Ich weiß nicht, hättest du nicht gefunden. Hättest du nicht gefunden. Nein. Bei Manns her. Manns dank. That's a good result. We are happy with that. It's an yeah. old box, six yeah. years plus. We have a good PH. That's Stefan from from the castle here. Really good guy and a perfect hunter. One of the best I know and a really really good old dog. With 11 years, but still one of the best. If you need someone, uh, you know, dog for for blood tracking, perfect dog. So we, we were sitting there, to, you know, uh, after sunset. We we called the guy, the PH, to to help us because we were not able to find him. So we got the spot. Where we, where we shot him, but there was not really big, big blood tracks or whatever. And that, Stefan, a good guy, is working here in Liebenberg uh, as a PH, so he, he has a really, really good old dog. And they tracked him, they found him, but he was lying nearly 80 meters with a perfect shot away. I think the, 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 the best explanation for that is he comes full of adrenaline, yeah. he comes speedful. And yeah. so, but good shot placement, good bark, successful day. And we got him in the larder. Marwan and the boys securing a last late book there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The relationship between shooters and doctors is under the spotlight again after a letter extorting money from a firearms licence applicant was exposed. A Lincolnshire GP demanded £90 for a medical check that is supposed to be free and said that if they didn't get the money, they would tell the police to assume that you have a medical condition which would prevent you from holding a licence. Even worse, the surgery in question was following advice from its local medical committee, using a template available to all GPs. The Countryside Alliance has said it cannot be right that applicants in Lincolnshire are charged for a service that is provided for free in all surrounding counties. There's going to be another review of air gun laws. The Home Office announced it will assess whether current laws in England and Wales continue to be appropriate and effective. There's no suggestion of knee-jerk legislation and the government acknowledged that our air gun laws are by all international comparisons very robust. But English and Welsh air gunners will worry that the government might follow Scotland's example and introduce a licensing system for air rifles and pistols. Keep up with the latest in Air Gun Shooter magazine. Shooting will still be in the Olympics in seven years' time. The IOC has confirmed the programme for the Paris Olympic Games in 2024 and shooting will be included. Shooting has been in every Olympic Games since the very first modern edition. The shooting events will see significant changes starting in Tokyo 2020, with mixed team events replacing double trap, prone rifle and 50 meter pistol. And finally, Swarovski is revamping its CL Companion line of binoculars. The compact binos have redesigned their optics to provide a more comfortable viewing experience, and on the outside, the carrying strap with rotating quick connector makes lugging them up the hill easier than ever. There are also three new accessories packages to choose from. The new models are set for a release date of November the 6th. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>